my name is Victor G. In today's video, I want to give testimony of how I walked into deliverance ministry. I didn't prepare for deliverance ministry. I walked into it. Open up your Bibles to the New Testament and let us begin. Today we are going to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13. And we are going to read word for word. Jesus says, Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. One more time. Jesus says, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I looked up the word deliver in Webster's Dictionary. And uh, another definition I found for the word deliver is rescue. So let us read this Bible verse one more time. Now with the word rescue. Jesus says, Do not lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. The evil one is the devil. In John 14, 6, Jesus says that it, he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that nobody goes to the Father except through Him. So, how can we ask Father to deliver us if we can't pray to the Father? But Jesus says we have to go through Him. So, let us see what Jesus has to say concerning this matter. Now we are, we are going to go to the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 17. And Jesus says, These signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. One more time, Mark 16, uh, verse 17. Jesus says, These signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. So Jesus gives us the answer of how we can be delivered from the evil one, also known as the devil. But he doesn't tell us that we are going to cast out demons in the name of religion. He doesn't say we're going to cast out demons in the name of a fancy church building. He doesn't say that we are going to cast out demons in the name of a celebrity pastor or priest. And he doesn't tell us we're, we're going to cast out demons in the name of uh, our favorite Bible translation. He says, These signs will follow those who believe in my name, his name is Jesus Christ. In my name, they will cast out demons. I want to give testimony of how I walked into deliverance ministry. So I read the New Testament word for word. And I started praying for, uh, uh, first I prayed for healing of my shoulders, my back, my knees, my ankles in Jesus name. And uh, today I live pain free. I started praying for people for healing and only healing. I have prayed maybe for hundreds of people for healing. But one time I was driving on the streets, of course, in the streets. And I saw a lady in a wheelchair. And I decided to pull over and ask her if I could pray healing over her in Jesus name. And uh, she said that, yes, I could pray for her in Jesus' name. I asked her why uh, uh, she was uh, on the wheelchair, and she said that she had a lot of knee pain. So I asked her if I could pray for um, 
uh, uh, the, the knee pain to go away in Jesus name. And she said, yes. So I told her to put her hands on her own knees. And then I put my hands on top of hers. And all I did was say, in the name of Jesus Christ, both knees be healed. It sounds simple, right? Okay, so when I said in the name of Jesus Christ, her eyes rolled back. Then she started speaking in tongues. And then she, she started doing devil horns at me with both hands. But I already had read about uh, the ministry of deliverance that uh, Jesus, uh, when he was on, uh, on earth, he was casting demons out of people left and right in the temple, on the streets, uh, people's houses. In my case, it was on the street. So this was happening uh, in real time. So I just started saying, uh, uh, demons come out of this woman, come out of this woman. And um, that process, maybe went anywhere from two to three hours because I lost track. I lost track of time. And I was just uh, asking the lady, I want to know the names of the demons inside of you. And she, she started giving me the names. And one by one, uh, in Jesus' name, uh, so-and-so get out. In Jesus' name, so-and-so get out. In Jesus' name, so-and-so get out. Meanwhile, there's people just walking, uh, uh, passing by, and I'm, I'm like focused, you know, on what's, you know, happening in front of me. And the ladies, you know, being uh, cooperative, she's telling, she's actually telling me the names of the uh, spirits or demons that, that have been tormenting her. So I start casting out the demons in Jesus name. I read about it and I was just saying in Jesus name, get out, get out. Again, two, three hours uh, uh, go by. And uh, I just want to um, also mention that I was on a work errand. And uh, two, three hours later, I'm all like, whoa, well, there goes that work errand. Okay, so going back to the testimony. So I ask her, are the, are the uh, people still uh, speaking in your mind? And she says, no. So I told her, where is the pain on your knees? And she said, there is no pain. So I told her, get up in Jesus name. And she got up like nothing. She started walking. She even uh, uh, did some running around because her knees were not hurting anymore. So that's how that uh, um, uh, deliverance uh, session went. My first delivery, deliverance, my first encounter, um, you could say standing in front of the enemy's camp in broad daylight and on the streets. And I, I didn't even prepare for it. I just walked into it. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so these are, these are the notes that I want to share with, with friends. Throughout the years, I have continued praying for people that have leg pain, uh, knee pain, ankle pain, back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, nightmares. And a lot of this inexplicable pains are not because people are injured. Even though people tell me I fell, I fell down 20 years ago and the, the pain came back from 20 years ago. So where did the pain go for 20 years? Anyways, so now I know that uh, healing and deliverance go hand in hand. Um, I can uh, uh, give a command in Jesus' name for a spirit to come out and, and immediately the pain goes away. With the people that have scripture in them, I reveal to them what I do, deliverance ministry. But um, most of the people that I encounter on the streets, I just tell them that Jesus healed them because I don't want them to, um, uh, to get scared of what happened. So those are my notes concerning how I got into deliverance ministry. Uh, I did give you the key word, deliver. Deliver means to rescue. And we do it how? We do it in Jesus' name, according to Mark 16, 17. 
I hope that this information is useful because it is. I have no pain in my body at all. So you may want to uh, go to the next level and maybe start praying for your family and for your friends for that pain to go away. You can lay hands and the pain will go away. But if you happen to run into a deliverance uh, encounter, just do what Jesus did. In the name of Jesus, you need to go. Friends, I encourage you to go to the next level and uh, pray for, for, for uh, your friends and family. Lay hands, cast out demons. Do this in the name of Jesus Christ.